Hello everybody. The beginning of our uh, string exploration is what I call finger calisthenics. So the first thing I always ask kids to do is to put their hands up and stretch their fingers out as wide as possible. Then squeeze them together as close as you can. And now we're going to separate the middle and bring them back together. It's really important that we do this with both hands at once because the whole idea is we're developing strength and dexterity in the fingers like you can't do except by playing a musical instrument that takes both hands. And there are very few that are actually symmetrical on both hands. The piano is probably the, uh, the one. Um, Otherwise, these activities and string games are the only things that are going to really develop that strength and dexterity you need for computer keyboarding. Then, you're going to separate the outsides and bring them together. Now, the tricky part is switching back and forth from one to the other. Open in the middle, open the outsides. Open in the middle, open the outsides. Open in the middle, open the outsides. This is a challenging activity for most kids and for many adults. It's actually a neurological test that my father learned in medical school in the 1920s, and I've done it in classrooms ever since. It's fun, and it really does develop that dexterity. The second one, which again is really just a sort of brain training um, dual hemisphere exercise is you make a fist then you point at it with the other hand now switch then switch back switch again and now see if you can do it a little faster and a little faster very fast so those are the two finger calisthenics that I always do I've just been uh, alerted to a few other similar ones, um, but that's a good intro. And now I'm going to try to add some commentary to our first string figure activity, learning the uh, Karok fish spear. And I'll introduce the figure a little bit now. This is a figure that I didn't actually learn from the uh, Karok tribe on the Klamath River and the Salmon River in Northern California, where I used to live. I learned it from a book, but it's wonderful to think that this is a figure that was actually done by the people where I used to live. And it's a three-pronged spear, and one of the advantages of that design is that with the distortions that throwing a spear into the water give you visually, if you have three prongs that can go in three different directions, essentially, you have a better chance of overcoming that distortion effect. So now I'm going to show you the video of how to do the Karuk fish spear. To do the Karuk fish spear, we're going to make a single straight loop between two thumbs and then put in the little fingers from below. That's called position one. Now one index finger goes under the palm string on the other side and then before you come back across you dip it around twice. There's the second dip. Now you pull back and notice how if you drop the strings from where you just picked up and get your index in between those two strings onto the palm string on the other side, you're going to pick that up and at the same time you drop the little finger and the thumb and there's the Karak fish spear. Okay, we're going to go through it a second time. The thumbs make a straight loop. Then you put the 
little fingers in from below into that big loop. One index finger goes across under the palm string on the other side. Twist that around twice. You're looping down, down again. And now when you bring the strings back and drop down those strings, you'll see the palm string on the other hand in between the string you just picked up, the two strands of it. You pick that up and while you're picking that up, you drop the thumb and the little finger and there's your Karuk fish spear. Congratulations.